Today we're talking body weight exercises for jiu-jitsu performance. This has been highly requested, so I put together a simple, not easy workout that you can do consisting of six exercises before or after your BJJ training. So without further gum bumping, let's jump into it. If you guys find a lot of value and end up liking these types of videos, the body weight exercises for jujitsu, make sure to hit that thumbs up button so I know to make more of these. Moving forward, all you're really gonna need is some mat space like at your jujitsu school or your backyard. I chose to do this in my backyard just to prove a point that you can do this anywhere, but your yard, a park, really anywhere with a little bit of padding in the form of a mat or some grass is gonna work for you. So let's take it to the backyard where I'll cover six body weight exercises. I'll cover key details and each muscle group that each exercise hits. I'll slow the videos down when details matter and I'll walk you through the entire thing. Let's get it. All right, exercise number one, roll back to a handstand. Now, I like to start off in a wrestler position, as you can see here, kind of bouncing around a little bit, keeping my hands active. I like to train like I fight, so I don't wanna to be too robotic and just run right into the exercise. I set myself up like I'm starting a match. To initiate the movement, I like to take a step forward as I sit down on my butt. When I roll to my back, I kick my legs up. Now, I like to spread my legs a little bit just to help keep my balance. Some guys like to keep their legs together. If you feel that you can keep your balance with your legs together, by all means, do that. We'll switch to a side angle so you can get a better view. As I roll backwards, I want you to pay attention to my hands. I'm pressing off my fists, and that's only because I don't have the wrist flexibility to go palms down in the grass. If you have that flexibility, by all means, more power to you, go ahead and do that. But if you don't, pressing off your fists is a great option. If you pay close enough attention, you can tell that as I kick my legs up in the air, I'm springing off my back, almost like a kip up. This makes the military press portion of this exercise a little bit more manageable, especially when we're doing multiple reps. I love this exercise because it works on your entire body's coordination. There's a lot of moving pieces that have to work together here to make this work. And that's exactly what jujitsu is. It's a lot of body parts moving together at once. So I think this is great for that mind muscle connection. You're mainly gonna be targeting your shoulders and triceps here. You will be engaging your core a little bit at the top of the rep, and you're also getting some flexibility work in your back as you begin to roll backwards. I'd recommend starting with this one at three sets of 12 reps. Next up, number two, bear crawl sit-throughs. I love these because again, this also incorporates many muscle groups at once. This one will focus mostly on core, shoulders, and triceps, but your secondary activators are going to be your chest, your back, your glutes, quads, and some hamstrings. You're going to see this as a common theme with some of my body weight workouts, especially if we do more videos of this in the future. These will incorporate multiple muscle groups at once, which is exactly what jujitsu is. The sooner you can build that coordination of all your muscles working together, the better you're going to be on the mats. If you're new to jujitsu and you're not coming from another sport, you may not have much experience with combining multiple muscle groups in action at once. So by adding this into your training regimen, you're only going to be sharpening your blades. As a side note, you may feel some tightness at full extension on the kick through. That's just a good landmark telling you that you need to work on your flexibility in your hamstrings. If you pay attention to my feet, there's a brief moment as I'm transitioning legs where neither of my feet are touching the ground. If you can do this, it'll make the whole movement a lot more smooth for you. Honestly, I think this one may be my most favorite bodyweight exercise for jiu-jitsu performance. Keep in mind, you don't need to do this perfect right away. Be patient with yourself. If you can't do it correctly, just keep trying it. With practice, you will get better. For these, I want you doing three sets of 15 reps per foot. So your left foot is getting 15 sit-throughs and your right foot is getting 15 sit-throughs. All right, next up, number three, clapping push-ups. Now, obviously, we're working our chest and our triceps here, but also a bit of our core as well. Keep in mind that if you can't perform the clapping push-ups, push-ups, doing these from your knees is an acceptable replacement. Also keep in mind that if you burn out halfway through your standard clapping push-up set, you can switch to the knee variation and complete those that way. For these, I want you doing three sets of 12 reps and we're about halfway through the workout. So unless you're in extremely good shape, you should be feeling it pretty good right about now. All right, next up, number four, jumping lunges. Now, those of you who've been watching my channel for a bit know that I am a fan of these. If you watch my hands, I'm keeping my hands active. Whether I'm holding them in front of my face, keeping my jawline protected, I'm reaching out, touching my opponent on the forehead before I shoot, or touching the ground just to keep them active. I'm keeping my hands moving, all right? Train like you fight, guys. Also notice that I'm not jumping straight up in the air here. I'm keeping myself nice and low to the ground, and I'm focusing on quickness. 
This helps simulate takedown movements, right? The more I train like this, the more confident I feel when I'm shooting double legs and single legs. I want you to focus on pressing off the balls of your feet as much as you can. It's okay to be flat footed on some of these, but focus on the balls of your foot. That's going to help engage your quads a lot more, which will make you more effective in your standing game. Your primary muscle groups that are activated here are your quads, glutes, and calf muscles. I want you doing this one at three sets of 15 reps each foot. All right, next up, jumping squats. This one's gonna be tough, especially at this point in the workout. I want you to pay attention to my range of motion and my depth here. I'm dropping my upper legs below 90 degrees. I'm getting that full range of motion. I'm also pressing off the balls of my feet to help activate my quads as much as possible. As I squat down, I'm keeping my hands in front of my face. And as I explode up, yes, we're exploding up. You're gonna raise your hands above your head. The main muscle groups we're activating here, again, are quads, glutes, and calves. But if you're keeping your hands active and reaching towards the sky at the top of the rep, you will get slight shoulder activation here as well. If your heart wasn't pumping hard at this point, well, by the time you finish these three sets of 15 reps, it definitely will be. All right, number six, finishing up the workout with some leg lifts to a triangle. I think it's pretty obvious to say how these can translate to jujitsu performance. Not only are we getting core activation here, we're also getting hip flexor activation, which both combined together are important for shooting triangles because they get our hips up in the air. Most gym bros are just gonna perform these with their ankles tight together and their legs straight, which is fine. That's the correct way to do this. But if you're someone who likes jujitsu and you want to improve performance, I think adding the triangle lock at the end is a great way to finish these out. And if you pay attention to what my arms are doing, I'm using my triceps and elbow out at about a 45 degree angle for my body to help keep me stable as I lift my legs up in the air. Again, just being as efficient as possible while incorporating multiple muscle groups into the workout. I recommend changing the side you lock the triangle up on with each rep, and we're finishing this out with three sets of 12 reps. You beginners can do 12 reps where each time your butt comes off the ground, that counts as one rep. While if you're a bit more in shape, you can do 12 reps locking with your left foot and 12 reps locking with your right foot. And this is me after I completed the workout. I am a bit sweaty. I've got a good pump going and I'm out of breath. This is exactly what I want you to aim for. Remember guys, we can argue back and forth on what the best scientific workout is for jujitsu. But what I'm gonna tell you, which is what I tell all my new clients, is that the best workout is the one that you can do consistently for a long-term period. So many people want that magic pill success. And while some coaches will tell you that that doesn't exist, I'm going to say it does exist, but it's in the form of long-term consistency. This is why you see so many people quit at blue belt because it's challenging. And this is why you see so few people make it the black belt because it's challenging. But I promise you, if you stay committed, you stay consistent and you do that for the long-term run, just like with your jujitsu, your fitness is going to improve. And that's exactly why I want you to choose workouts that you enjoy doing. If you guys found value here, you enjoyed this kind of video, let me know in the comments, hit the thumbs up button because I will make this a multi Multiple part series. And as always, I do have more fitness, athlete recipes, and jujitsu content on the way. You guys know how we like to end them. Eat plants, train hard, and feel good. I'll see you in the next one. For full disclosure, I do like weightlifting workouts a bit better, but these body weight workouts are great because they can help improve confidence if you're someone that's felt scared to get into a gym. This is a great way to build your confidence up to feel comfortable with going to a weight room. This is also a really good replacement if you can't get to the gym. Maybe you want to focus on your jiu-jitsu training, so you do this before jiu-jitsu practice, or maybe you do it afterwards as a warm down. Whatever you choose to do, just make sure you incorporate long-term consistency because that's where the best results are. I promise you that. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one.